thunder reported overhead. Now you'll notice they're in basically lines of showers, one down the Pennines and one a little bit further east, and then they reach up into the borders as well. They're slow-moving thunderstorms, so they haven't been moving very far at all throughout the afternoon. The latest position is, uh, is about that. The shower's still scattered down the eastern side of England, just into the southeast of Scotland. In a bigger picture, high pressure is the thing over Scandinavia and low pressure is down here to the west of Ireland. Now, over the next few days, they'll do battle. Uh, neither will actually win, though I think the rain will eventually edge its way into western Britain. There's a picture at uh, Tuesday lunchtime. Now, overnight, you'll see that rain start to move in, just about reaching County Fermanagh, I think, in Northern Ireland by dawn. The showers will slowly die out overnight, but over wet ground with light winds, there could be mist and fog in much of England, central England, a touch of ground frost maybe in the Midlands, but more especially, I think, up in Scotland here too could be one or two mist or fog patches. So we start Tuesday then with that rain just edging in, I think by the end of the afternoon maybe into southwest England and south Wales, or west Wales at least, and into Northern Ireland. But a bright start for much of the rest of the country, England, Wales, much of Scotland, except for the east coast, because we're drawing in this very moist air, so the har is starting to show its face, so it won't get very far in tomorrow. And as that brightens up, the rain edges in a little bit further across the Irish Sea, maybe into North Lancashire and southwest Scotland by the end of the day. Now, where you see the sunshine with light winds, well, actually, it won't be that light, but where you get this bit of shelter, 15 or 16 will feel quite warm, but the wind is generally stronger than today across the whole country. It starts off in the morning, I think, being strongest in the west, just ahead of that rain, but all of us, I think, will notice more of a cooling breeze, and notice now it is this southeasterly coming in off a fairly cold North Sea for eastern Scotland and northeastern England. Well, there's Tuesday's chart. Now, compare this with Wednesday. The front tries to swing its way up. The isobars are tighter up here, so the wind will be stronger in northern Britain. So with that cold breeze, the har is being pushed in even further.